as part of their general package of trying to establish what they want as a favorable relationship with the Obama administration. And by favorable, I mean uh, they, they, they have a certain goals they'd like to achieve, and they want, they're pressing the administration to see how far they can get them. So how would the Obama administration proceed in this case? Uh, North Korea is kind of a one-off on the world stage, and that they have to be treated differently than every other country. Yes, it's a terrible situation uh, that they're facing in, in many respects. The, uh, the North Korean government appears to be in the midst of some kind of internal succession process that is that for pushing them to look strong and aggressive in, the, in their external behavior so that they'll gain support around like, who appear, the, the successor who appears to be the son of the current president. Uh, these women are going to be treated as part of this bargaining relationship, and, and this is, we've seen this in the past. I mean, it's, North Korea will detonate a nuclear weapon, launch a missile, and then try and see what kind of concessions it might be able to receive in response. The succession crisis, though, is an added uncertainty, so it, it's very difficult to know what policies might succeed, because it could be no matter what the administration does, they'll end up with a very bad outcome. Would it be helpful, you think, if the succession issue were decided, was over? Uh, yes, because if you want to gain successions, uh, concessions from a country like North Korea, uh, you need to have a strong leader, someone who can make those kind of concessions, such as give up their nuclear weapons, abstain from uh, missile tests, etc., without facing some kind of exter internal challenge from hardliners in the military. Uh, the, the, ch the chosen successor, the son of the current leader, King Jong-il, is uh, very young, in his late 20s, Western educated, so I suspect there's a lot of uncertainties whether he can stand up to the pressure. Uh, and this may be a way to show that how tough the, the, the government will be, even no matter who is in charge. Any chance that these women might be released in advance of any kind of negotiation with, with the United States as a goodwill gesture? Or is that not Korea style? Well, it's interesting what's happened to them. They, it, 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 in some ways, it's uh, less severe than it could have been. They, they weren't charged with treason uh, or espionage. Sorry, espionage. They were sentenced with just in, in not being in, in just not being properly in the right place. Their sentence was longer, though, than suspected. Uh, it, you could have anticipated a shorter sentence, and it was made by the highest court in the country. So there's no formal appeal. Uh, what might be interesting, though, is the North Koreans sometimes will make deals with individuals who, who happen to go there. Jimmy Carter, for example, uh, the former president of the United States, visited there and was able to obtain some concessions. Uh, it's Elliot Richardson, who, who sorry, uh, Governor Richardson, who ran for president, uh, is now thinking as to saying we should go and he's offered to go and talk with them. It's possible if he goes, they might offer him as a goodwill gesture. Uh, but they're also engaged in this complex bargaining with Japan, with South Korea. They're, they're arguing over what sanctions to impose. I think a current priority might be avoiding getting placed on the U.S. list of state sponsors of terrorism. Uh, over the weekend, it, it was indicated this is an option. They were removed from the list uh, under the end of the Bush administration because of some concessions they were making in the nuclear arms control. Uh, but because of their, their recent uh, nuclear tests, the, the administration is looking for steps to take, and one of them is possibly to put them back on the list. They might want some kind of guarantee that were not to occur in return for releasing the woman. Mm. Richard Weitz is with the Hudson Institute. Thanks very much for your time, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Lebanon's pro-Western coalition is celebrating today.